10,000-year-old chewing gum sheds fascinating light on the diet of Stone Age teens. The gum was chewed by adolescents 10,000 years ago in Sweden and paints a picture of their diet and their oral health. 10,000 years ago, a group of Stone Age adolescents in Sweden chomped down on a tar-like black resin made of birch bark, which like much like modern teen, uh, day teenagers, they spat the chewing gum out when they were done with it. Of oblivious of the fact that researchers far in the future would use a glob of sticky resin to better understand their diet and oral health. The chunks of this chewing gum, quote unquote, were found 30 years ago at the Husby Klev archaeological site near the Swedish city of Gothenburg. Anders Gottenstrom, the co-author of the new study about the gum in scientific reports, told CBS News that the teenagers probably masticated uh, the resin so that it could be used to assemble tools and weapons. It is most likely, this, this is a hypothesis, Gothenstrom added, and he explained they could, of course, have been chewed just like they liked them or because they thought that they had some medicinal purpose. And in doing so, they left behind tantalizing clues about their lives. There is a richness of DNA sequences in the chewing mastic from Hasby Kilev, Klev, M. Ra Kurdok of Mercer University Department of Biotechnology, and the study's lead author said in his statement. Though researchers in 2019 used the gum to map the genetic profiles of the Stone Age teenagers, Kirdok and his team looked specifically at what the gum could reveal about the teenagers' diets and oral health. They found that the Stone Age teenagers, before popping the resins in their mouths and start chewing it, had enjoyed a meal of deer, trout, and hazelnuts. They also found trace DNA of bird species, including mallard duck, tufted duck, and European robin, as well as other animals like the red fox, arctic fox, and wolf. The researchers suspect that the teenagers used their teeth to prepare the bird bones and the canida pelts as tools or clothing. This provides a snapshot of the life of a small group of hunter-gatherers on the Scandinavian west coast, Gotherstrom said. I think it's amazing that there are other well-established methods to work out that what nutrient and diet relates to the Stone Age, but here we know that these teenagers were eating deer, trout, and hazelnuts 9,700 years ago on the west coast of Scandinavia. That was not all the researchers found out. As Gotherstrom noted, they also discovered that one of the teenagers had severe problems with his teeth. Their study revealed that one of the teenagers had a number of bacteria indicating a severe case of periodontitis. This gum infection would have been painful and Gotherstrom explained that the teenager probably started losing their teeth shortly after chewing the resin. The chewing gum has thus revealed what Stone Age teenagers ate and some of the health problems they experienced, but Gotherstrom also noted that the discovery has even deeper implications and draws a fascinating link between the adolescents in Sweden and people living today. You have the imprint from the teenager's mouth who chewed it thousands of years ago, he said, and if you want to put some kind of philosophical layer into it, for us it connects artifacts, the DNA, and humans. And this is by Kalina Fraga from All That's Interesting on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.